Ama Selassie GBE was emperor in exile of Ethiopia. As son of Haile Selassie I, he was crown prince and was proclaimed emperor three times. He was first proclaimed emperor during an unsuccessful coup attempt against his father in December 1960, during which he alleged that he was detained and compelled to accept the title. After his father was deposed in a later coup, he was proclaimed emperor again in absentia by the Derg on September 12, 1974 in an act which he never accepted as legitimate and that ended in the abolition of the Ethiopian monarchy on March 12, 1975. He was again proclaimed emperor in exile on April 8, 1989. This time he sanctioned the proclamation and accepted its legitimacy. After his accession, his full reign name was His Imperial Majesty Emperor Masalasi I, elect of God, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah and king of kings of Ethiopia. He was born as Fal Wosan Tafari, in the walled city of Harar, to Dejazmak Tafari Makonan, then the governor of Harar and future emperor of Ethiopia, and his wife Mainan as Fal, on July 27, 1916. Amos Selassie became crowned prince as Fal Wosan of Ethiopia when his father was crowned emperor on November 2, 1930. Crown Prince Asfal Wosan was granted the title of Marid Asmak and the province of Vula to rule as his fief. He was married to Princess Wulid Israel Seon, great-granddaughter of Emperor Johannes IV, and had a daughter, Princess Ijigayehu. Following the Italian invasion of Ethiopia in 1936, the Crown Prince and Princess went into exile with the rest of the imperial family. They separated around 1938 and eventually divorced in 1941. Asfal Wosan with King Fuad I of the Kingdom of Egypt in 1931 following Emperor Haile Selassie's restoration in 1941, the Crown Prince returned to Ethiopia and participated in the campaign to drive the Italian forces out of the city of Gondar, the last town they held in Ethiopia. He briefly served as acting governor of the provinces of Begemder and Tigray, retaining Vula the entire time. He was eventually remarried to Princess Medfiri Ashwerk of Bebe and would father three more daughters, Princesses Mariam Sena, Srash, Sian, and a son Prince Zara Yaakov. On the evening of December 13, 1960, the commander of the Imperial Guard, Mengistu Nwe, with his brother Germain Nwe launched a coup d'état and seized power in Ethiopia while the emperor was on a visit to Brazil. The coup leaders allegedly detained Crown Princess Fal Wosan in the Imperial Palace, and the following morning, having secured control over most of the capital, then allegedly compelled the Crown Prince to read a radio statement, in which he accepted the crown in his father's place and announced a government of reform. However, the regular army, led by Dejazmak Asrat Medhin Kasa and Chief of Staff, Major General Mared Mancha, spent the following day gaining control of other military formations. As well as the Air Force, later that day Patriarch Abuna Basilios of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, issued an anathema against all those who cooperated with the rebels. On 15 December fighting broke out in the city, and the rebels were driven out of Addis Ababa, before retreating the rebels slaughtered many members of the government and the nobility held hostage in the green salon of the palace. Among the dead were Abebe Aragai and Sayam Mangasha. The emperor returned to Ethiopia, entering the capital on 17 December. Although it was alleged that the crown prince had acted under duress, his outlook had long been regarded as considerably more liberal than that of his father, and so he would always be suspected of having been a willing participant in the coup attempt. By contrast, Medfiri Ashwork Abebe, the wife of the crown prince, is credited with playing a role against the coup attempt. In 1974 the crown prince Asfal Wosan said that he undoubtedly not only knew about the revolution ahead of time, he was also part of the people who had organized it. At the age of 56 in late 1972, after his father Emperor Haile Selassie blamed him for hiding the realities of the famine in the region which he presided over as duke from him. Crown Princess Val Wosan suffered a massive stroke and was evacuated for medical treatment to London and Switzerland. He was accompanied by his wife and daughters. The stroke left him permanently paralyzed on one side and unable to walk, and also affected his speech. As Princess Val Wosan was not expected to live, his son, Prince Sarah Jacob, a student at Oxford at the time, was named acting Crown Prince and heir presumptive. The so-called short reign of Amos Selassie in 1974 was in name only between the dethronement of his father on September 12, 1974 until the abolition of the monarchy in March 1975. Amos Selassie had been out of the country for medical treatment when the coup occurred, and he never returned during his lifetime. Haile Selassie had never signed an abdication or renounced his status as emperor. 
The military junta declared the crown prince king instead of emperor, but he never acknowledged the title nor accepted his father's dethronement. When the new government massacred 61 ex-officials of the imperial government, Crown Prince Asfal Wosun issued a strong denunciation that was broadcast on the BBC. The statement was issued in the name of Crown Prince Asfal Wosun which indicated that he did not recognize the Derg's declaration of him as monarch in his father's place. He continued to use the title of Crown Prince during his exile until April 1989, when he finally assumed the title of Emperor with the regnal name of Amma Selassie his succession was backdated. Not to September 12, 1974, when his father was deposed, but to August 27, 1975, when his father died. He reiterated his view that all of the Derg regime's acts were illegitimate and illegal. On September 12, 1974, the Derg military junta deposed Emperor Haile Selassie and declared that Crown Prince Asfal Wosun would be anointed king upon his return from medical treatment in Geneva, Switzerland. It intended for Asfal to rule as a constitutional monarch. However, the prince did not recognize this proclamation and did not return to Ethiopia. When he instead announced to the Ethiopian embassy in London that he would be moving to that city shortly, the embassy asked the Derg for instructions as to whether it should receive him as a king and head of state. Or if it should receive him as crown prince upon his arrival in the United Kingdom. The Derg replied that he should be received as a simple citizen of Ethiopia and that no royal dignities were to be accorded to the prince or his family. The revolutionaries soon abolished the monarchy in March 1975, and Crown Prince Asfal Wosun settled permanently in London, where several other members of the imperial family were already based. The other members of the imperial family who were still in Ethiopia at the time of the revolution were imprisoned, including Asfal Wosun's father, the emperor. His daughter by his first marriage, Princess Ijigayehu, his sister Princess Tanagmurk and many of his nephews, nieces, relatives and in-laws. In 1975, first his father, Emperor Haile Selassie, and then in January 1977, his daughter, Princess Ijigayehu, died in detention. Members of the imperial family remained imprisoned until 1988 and 1989. In April 1989, Crown Princess Fa Wosun was proclaimed Emperor of Ethiopia in exile, at his home in London by members of the exiled Ethiopian community. He took the throne name of Amma Selassie his wife began also using the title of Empress. A year later, the emperor and empress in exile moved to McLean, Virginia, USA to be close to the large Ethiopian immigrant population in and around Washington, D.C. In 1991, with the fall of the Derg, and the coming to power of the Apurf in Ethiopia. Amo Selassie founded the Moa and Besa monarchist movement to promote a monarchical restoration in Ethiopia, and announced his intention to return to his country for a visit. However, following the disinterment of the remains of Emperor Haile Selassie, a dispute erupted between the imperial family and the new government over the status of a funeral that was planned for the late emperor. The government refused to give Haile Selassie a state funeral, consequently, the funeral, and the return of Amma Selassie, were indefinitely postponed. Amma Selassie died at the age of 80 on January 17, 1997, after long illnesses, in the U.S. state of Virginia. He had never completely recovered from the stroke he had experienced in 1992. At the time his son, Zara Jacob Selassie was living on the Isle of Dogs, London. However, when he applied for a visa so that he could preside over a funeral held in the US, he was refused a visa. When he applied a second time, he was told never to apply again. Dennis Wolfe, a spokesperson for the US Embassy in London explained that Zara Jacob had failed to convince the authorities that he had a residence outside the USA- despite having housing in the UK. After this, arrangements were made for him a Selassie's body was flown back to Ethiopia and buried in the imperial family vaults at Holy Trinity Cathedral in Addis Ababa in a large ceremonial funeral presided over by Patriarch Abun Palas. Amma Selassie was awarded numerous honors, including, National Foreign Amma Selassie held the following military ranks, national media related to Negus Asfal Wosun at Wikimedia Commons. Thanks for watching.